Hello everyone. This is your course instructor Darshan RV. In today's lecture, we'll discuss about the operational amplifier. It is also called as op-amp. It is a module three in the basic electronics course. First, we'll study what is operational amplifiers. We all know that amplifiers are nothing but the circuits which are used to increase the strength of weak signals. Then operation means either it can be mathematical operations or logical operations. Mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, integration, differentiation and the logical operations like voltage follower are nothing but a buffer or comparator. So it is a combination of operation and amplification here. So first we will see the definition of operational amplifier here. Well, the definition says it is an electronic device which has high gain direct coupled difference amplifier. Here high gain refers to the voltage gain of this operational amplifier. So high gain means the gain or the voltage gain AV nothing but the ratio of output voltage by input voltage is almost equal to infinity here. And the direct coupled refers to the operational amplifier can amplify the DC signals nothing but the zero frequency signals also and the difference amplifier is nothing but this operational amplifier will have two input terminals those two input terminals the difference of those two input terminals will be amplified using this operational amplifier so the definition says it is an electronic device which has high gain where high gain refers to the voltage gain which is almost equal to infinity in ideal case and the direct coupled means the op-amp can amplify zero frequency signals nothing but the DC signals and the difference amplifier means it can amplify the difference of these two input terminal voltages here. So that is the definition of operational amplifier. Next we will see the symbol and the equivalent circuit of operational amplifier. Where this operational amplifier will have two input terminals. We call those input terminals as non-inverting terminal and inverting terminal here. Where the plus symbol indicates that non-inverting terminal and the minus symbol indicates inverting term. I have taken the voltages V1 as non-inverting voltage and V2 as inverting voltage here. And two supply voltages will be there where they are plus VCC and minus VCC. These two are external supply voltages. And one output terminal will be there. This is the symbol of operational amplifier. If I am writing the equivalent circuit for the same operational amplifier where it will have input resistance between the two input terminals and one output resistance at the output terminal here and one voltage source will be there where that voltage source is nothing but the output voltage which is multiplied with the open loop gain A and the VD. VD is nothing but the difference voltage of V1 and V2 here. Coming to the ideal characteristics of this op -amp, it has eight ideal characteristics. We will discuss one by one here where the first one is the infinite input impedance here where the impedance refers to the ref uh, resistances here uh, before going to that we will understand whenever we consider a resistance here R so if the resistance value is equal to infinity this resistance acts as open circuit here if the resistance value is equal to zero that resistance will act as short circuit here so here the input impedance of an op-amp should be infinity so this resistance value is infinity where it is acting as open circuit. Why it should be made in open circuit in order to differentiate the voltages at non-inverting terminal and inverting terminal here. So if it is open circuit means we can easily differentiate find the difference between V1 and V2. If the resistance value is zero so it is acting as a short circuit the voltage at this junction and this junction will be same. So it will be difficult to differentiate V1 and v2 here so voltages will be equal to same that's why the input impedance is made infinite here next is the zero output impedance where the output impedance is made zero here in an ideal case so that it is acting as a short circuit so current can easily flow through the output terminal here so we will get the desired output voltage here. if it is made as infinity what happens it acts like a short open circuit here if it is acting as open circuit current will not flow through the output terminal will not get the desired output voltage next the third characteristics is infinite voltage gain where 
the voltage gain is given by the ratio of V output by V input. For any value of the input voltage, the voltage gain will be almost equal to infinity here. Next, the fourth characteristics is infinite CMRR, where CMRR stands for common mode rejection ratio. Common mode rejection ratio. This common mode rejection ratio is nothing but the ability of the op amp to reject the common signals between non-inverting terminal and inverting terminal. For example, if I am considering at the non-inverting terminal will be having a one sinusoidal signal and a square wave. At the inverting terminal will be having only the square wave here. So this common mode rejection ratio characteristics will reject this common signal the square wave between the non-inverting terminal and inverting terminal and it will amplify only the sinusoidal signal here. So the value of this rejection ratio common mode rejection ratio should be made infinite here. Next is the infinite sleeve rate where sleeve rate refers to the rate of change of output voltage to the rate of change of time here. So whenever the if you consider the input voltage 0 and the maximum value is 5 volt this is your input voltage. So the output voltage will not change suddenly as the input voltage changes from 0 to 5 here. So it will change slowly till the till it reaches 5 volts with a time delay here. This is your change in time and this is your output voltage. So this sleeve rate refers to the ratio of rate of change of output voltage with respect to change in time here. Why there is a delay here whenever the, there is a sudden change in the input voltage from 0 to 5 the output voltage will not change suddenly because it, if, if it changes suddenly the it may lead to the damaging of operational amplifier that is why the output voltage will change with a time delay here. Next is op, op amp is temperature independent. So whenever there is a change in temperature, the op amp characteristics will not change here. So the characteristics remains for different temperatures. Next is zero PSRR. PSRR stands for power supply rejection ratio. Power supply rejection ratio. Where this, here we are having two power supplies right plus VCC and minus VCC whenever there is a change in power supplies this output voltage will change in order to reduce that these power supplies are made rejection ratio of those power supplies are made zero here and it will be having infinite bandwidth so these are the characteristics of ideal op amp next we will see op amp parameters so there are four parameters input bias current, input offset current, input offset voltage, output offset voltage. So this input bias current is nothing but it is an average of two input terminal currents. So we know that the op amp will have two terminals non-inverting terminal and inverting terminal. If I am considering the current flowing through the non-inverting terminal is IB1 and the current flowing through the inverting terminal is IB2. This biasing current input bias current is nothing but the average of these two currents that is IB is equal to IB1 plus IB2 divided by 2. So it is the average of two input terminal currents here that is input bias current. Next is input offset current. Input offset current is nothing but the difference of these two input terminal currents here that is input offset current is equal to IB1 minus IB2. So input offset current is IB1 minus IB2. Next before going to the input offset voltage we will we'll see what is output offset voltage here. Where this output offset voltage is when both the input terminals of uh, op amp where non-inverting terminal and inverting terminal are terminals are connected to ground the output voltage should be equal to zero. But in case of this operational amplifier, this output voltage will not be equal to zero. Even if the input voltages are zero, the output voltage will not be equal to zero. It gives some certain voltage. That certain voltage is called as offset voltage, output 
offset voltage that will be in the range of millivolts here so that is output offset voltage so coming back to the input offset voltage so as we seen even the input voltages are made zero the output voltage will not be zero that is offset voltage because of this power supplies so in order to nullify that output offset voltage we are going to give external input voltage to either non inverting terminal or inverting terminal here that input voltage which is used to nullify this output offset voltage is called as input offset voltage where input bias current is the average of two input terminal currents input offset current is the difference of two input terminal currents input offset voltage is in order to nullify the output offset voltage the input voltage given to either of non inverting terminal or inverting terminals and the output offset voltage is even though the non inverting terminal and the inverting terminals are grounded the output voltage will not be equal to zero because of these power supplies that voltage is called as output offset voltage next is concept of virtual ground where this concept of virtual ground says that voltage at non inverting terminal and the voltage at inverting terminals are same if i'm writing the op amp circuit it will be having plus is non inverting terminal and the minus is inverting terminal will be having the output voltage v output and the supply voltage plus vcc and minus vcc the voltage at non inverting terminal i consider it as v1 this one is v2 where this concept of virtual ground says the v1 is equal to v2 voltage at non inverting terminal is equal to voltage at inverting terminal we'll see that means v1 is equal to v2 see how this v1 is equal to v2 we know that from the ideal characteristics of op amp the voltage gain av is equal to the ratio of output voltage to the input voltage where this input voltage is nothing but difference of these two voltages v1 minus v2 so that is v output by v1 minus v2 so from the ideal characteristics of op amp the voltage gain will be equal to infinity so if i'm rewriting this equation that is v output by v1 minus v2 is equal to infinity and that is equal to v output by infinity is equal to v1 minus v2 we know that anything by infinity will be equal to zero here so this will be equal to v1 is equal to v2 so the concept of virtual ground says that the voltage at non inverting terminal is equal to the voltage at inverting terminal here in case of ideal op amp 